hi everyone welcome to the channel uh, my name is Sarah if you're new here this is the nifty nook thrift channel where I share all things related to my fashion reselling business on Poshmark and eBay so thanks so much for being here I am sitting in the Starbucks drive through right now just got done with brunch with my husband and um, just getting the day started here getting my coffee my second coffee actually because I have my first coffee at like 8 a.m. around then and so I'm getting my coffee uh, I've got an inventory box back there I'm dropping off at the unit I've also got a big haul back there from the bins and another thrift store um, I just throw it back there <laughs> I didn't have uh, IKEA bags with me that day uh, but yeah so today I'm going to be heading to the unit and taking you with me and we are going to pull the orders from the three-day weekend. And I say three-day weekend just because uh, yesterday was a postal holiday, Columbus Day. And so I've got, I want to say, around 25 orders. We're going to pull the orders, and um, I'm going to show you what's sold, and you can ship with me. So let's go. All right, guys, so uh, Starbucks is in hand. I got a flat white with oat milk. Um, and I got an ice, no ice with two honey packets. So, um, because of my chronic pain condition, I actually have a, I would, I mean, compared to what, how the average person eats, I have a really restrictive diet and yes, it is very hard, but, um, it's just one of the sacrifices you have to make for that little bit of feeling better. It's a lot of little things that add up. Yeah. So what I was saying is I don't have dairy, uh, gluten or sugar. <laughs> And that is actually uh, in most things, most food. And so um, we're also really um, intentional about preservatives and just bad ingredients, bad oils in general because of inflammation um, and because of my chronic pain, inflammatory foods just really do me in. It's the difference between having a really good day and being you know, on the couch. <laughs> it's actually a really, really lovely day. The sun's actually out today, surprisingly. <laughs> For Indiana, you really never know if the sun's actually going to come out or not. Yesterday, I don't think I saw it at all. Um, but yeah, it's a really beautiful day and I'm gonna try to get a lot of listings done today. When we get to the unit, I will pull orders with you and uh, we'll go from there, so. All right, guys, I've got the inventory box and this thing which is what I use to pull my orders so let's go put that on top of there like that all right so one thing about my storage unit is when I first moved into this unit I was like one of the only ones here and now it's pretty much every unit's full so I'm really glad I got here when I did So let's get to pulling the orders. Usually I read them off my phone, but I wrote them on this today so that uh, you can do this with me. So let's get to pulling them. Um, I did recently consolidate my inventory. I got the first row done. This has all been consolidated. Uh, so that's five, sorry. Ugh. It's five uh, shelving unit, shelves, <laughs> shelves there. And we go back to the second row this is all like because i did co i was consolidating and i made it to there so all of this still has to be consolidated as well as this other side i've got two shelves up here so if you remember last time i did a video for you guys here in the storage unit i only had like the first row and maybe a little bit of the second row filled and now this whole thing is actually full once i get it consolidated plus i'm started in on this third row over here. So this is like the middle of the unit. And then back here, I've got one more row. And for now, this is where I keep poly mailers and shipping supplies, boxes, um, things like that. Um, these are extra poly mailers over here. So anyway, consolidating takes a lot of time. So I've been splitting it into a, a few different days. So. 
All right, 12.59 is going to be here. And I just take the item and I drop it into this rolling bin here. I thought about getting some Hulkin bags, um, but then I was like, oh man, that's really expensive for a bag. But also I'm over here with this crappy one that has broken a couple of times. And so it's like, well, probably should invest some money into a good one. Uh, $14.92. Seventeen twenty four. Eighteen oh one. Yeah. Hey, back here. Back. Sorry, guys. Hello. Uh, eighteen eleven. Right in front, down here, that's easy. Now we go to the second row. Alright. Twenty-one eighty. I'm gonna just like lay that there. Uh twenty-one eighty. Uh it's gonna be down here. <laughs> Everything's a little different now since I consolidated. Okay, twenty-one eighty. Then we've got 3021. Way up here on oh, this other side. Sorry, I'm probably like making you guys nauseous with this. It'll be here. Oh, I just jumped over a whole. I was like, why did we jump over all the 2000s? I just skipped a whole row. Oh, uh, let's see, did I do 2191? No, I didn't. 2191. Did I do 2180? Okay, yeah. Okay, I skipped a whole row. That's why, guys. Um, 2289. So I always write them down in order just because it's easier to... It, you just pull. You can just pull a lot faster that way. 2289. 2535. Is down here. Go twenty five forty two. This one has a bunch of stuff trying to fall out. Trying to fall out. Ugh. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Let's keep looking for the orders. I only have one light in here, and um right in the middle so anytime I go like this I'm like immediately in the shadow because the lights behind me 2031 25 42 2750 2882 what the okay I'm gonna get this <laughs> ah! that's falling Thirty twenty one. It's gonna be up here. Thirty twenty nine. And we're almost there. Thirty one oh two. Thirty one twenty nine. Thirty-one ninety-four. There we go. Yay! All right. Let's hope I didn't skip anything. So now I come back here and I grab some mailers. So I'm gonna grab. Actually, let's see here. I'm going to grab, I think I have like four eBay orders going out, so I'm going to grab these for the eBay. And then um, a lot of these. So probably 
don't know. I'm just gonna grab a big stack and hope it's enough. Whew. Okay. And I'm out of thank you stickers, but these came with the thank you stickers. They are just like thank you cards. So I've just been sliding these in there, make the best use of what I have before I order something else. No need to spend money on it when I have something that does the does the job and I like how they are pretty. Okay, let's put that in there. Okay, so I'm actually going to grab the trash can. I take my trash can down there to ship, so. Alright guys, we are at the table and ready to ship. So, thanks so much for being here. We've got 22, I, I believe it's 26 orders going out today. And today is Tuesday, October 10th. So these are sales that came in Saturday, Sunday, Monday, uh, the weekend of October, uh, I'm spacing, 7th, 8th, 9th, yeah. <laughs> From the weekend of October 7th, 8th, 9th, we've got four eBay orders and then like 22 Poshmark orders. So I'm gonna try to go through these very quickly, tell you a little bit about each item, tell you where it's going, um, how much I paid for it, et cetera, et cetera. It does take a while to set these up. So if you're enjoying this video, please give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment below. So, all right, let's get into it. So starting with eBay, we've got four orders. First, I'm gonna pop pictures up here on the screen uh, so that It'll be over here or over here, I'm not sure yet, but they would be there. Um, first up, I sold this pair of little boys Janie and Jack Bermuda shorts. They're size boys five. They are a plaid, aqua, orange, brown, and they are new with tags. So the story behind these kid, this kid's clothing, I'm not normally a kid's clothing seller, but honestly, recently I've been getting into it because I was at the bins a couple weeks ago and I literally came across a bin where I'm not even exaggerating, like a bin, like giant bin full I came home with of Janie and Jack, Hannah Anderson, and Minnie Bowden, which are all like pretty, pretty expensive children's brands for kids clothing. And this was there. And not to mention that there was a ton of Janie and Jack, but there was a ton of new with tags Janie and Jack. And so this stuff has been flying out of my closet. I'm like, wow, I should be picking up more kids clothing because it's so lightweight. So Janie and Jack, um, I'll show you the label. There you go. Um, and that's just the tag. But these sold for $20 before shipping. And um, yeah, picked them up at the bins, listed on September 27th, and sold on October 6th. 6th. It's October 6th. Yeah. I obviously haven't done a video in a while. So with my eBay uh, $25 store coupon that I get each quarter, I got these poly mailers from eBay and so my cost was actually like $4 because I used the coupon and they're actually really a great size and so I've been using these for eBay and honestly I may never have to buy any more poly mailers myself um, because you know I get $25, $100 a year to spend and I think I got 500 of these for that so they're really good quality and yeah so let me know what you guys spend your 25 dollars coupon on typically last time i got tape i want to say the last couple times i got tape i've gotten boxes before but i really think i'm going to use these poly mailers the most so that's what i'm going to use for these all right so these janie and jack shorts They're the perfect size um, for like almost almost every clothing item I ship. Now, if it's a little bit bigger, I'd have to use one of my other poly mailers, but that's gonna be more of a rare circumstance. So. It's perfectly. And these are actually a lot more durable than my other poly mailers. All right, and these Janie and Jack shorts are headed to La Plata, Maryland. All right, next item to sell on eBay was this women's Title IX dress. Title IX's a great brand to pick up. It's kind of like athleisure wear, athletic wear, but like everyday wear too. 
Um, it's called the Title IX Dream Three Quarter Sleeve Dress in Happy Days Blue Floral, size women's small. It's new without tags. Picked it up at a Goodwill for about $5. Listed on September 6th, sold on October 7th. Fantastic turnaround. So, Title IX, a really, really good brand. I've only found it like four times ever, so. And it's always uh, been a pretty quick flip at each time I've listed it. Something different I'm doing in this video, you'll notice, is I'm, I'm showing you what the tags look like. So I'm showing you the item up here on the screen, but I'm also uh, showing you the tags, because I really think that can be helpful to see. All right, Title IX dress is headed to Lemoyne, Pennsylvania. Next item is this men's rod and gun. First time I've ever picked this brand up, first time I've ever sold it, but I picked it up because it's merino wool and that is a, an expensive fabric and it's an in-demand fabric this time of year. Uh, this is a rod and gun merino wool quarter zip sweater, size men's large and navy blue, sold for $40 and I wanna say this sold really fast, let's see. Okay, yeah, picked it up for $5 at regular Goodwill, listed on October 4th, sold on October 9th and 40 bucks, so really, really good. I was like, I don't really care what the brand is. If it's good material and it's high quality, I think it'll sell and it sold very fast. So keep that in mind. Ooh, I'm gonna have to buy new stickers soon, uh, new thank you stickers. But for now, I am using these that came, these are just like little cards. Um, they came with the stickers I bought because I ran out of stickers. So I'm just putting one of these in each one. And when I run out of these, I think I'm gonna order some personalized business stickers. Um, stickers or cards that have a QR code that links to my closet so that if the person is pleased with their purchase, they have an easy way to come back and shop my closet again because there's the QR code, right? It's all about so much of good business is making, making it easy for your customers to say yes. Uh, you don't want to make it hard on them to say yes or to come back. So be smart about all those little decisions and it, it will go a long ways for you. All right. This rod and gun sweater is headed to Seattle, Washington. Off it goes. One more eBay order, and this is a cashmere sweater. Um, so this is by the brand M&S Collection. Again, a brand I've never heard of or ever had picked up. Just picked it up because cashmere. Men's black cashmere v-neck sweater, size men's small. Picked it up for $5 at a Goodwill. Listed on February 15th. Okay, this is out a while. Um, and then sold on October 10th. So glad, glad to move it out. Probably because it is not as common of a brand as maybe why it's out a while. I'm not sure. All right, the cashmere sweater is headed to Cost Cobb, Connecticut. All right, on to Poshmark. Just wanted to say how thankful I am for this community um, on here, on YouTube. I made it to a thousand subscribers because of you guys. So thank you so much for your support. I could not have done it without you. Um, I really appreciate my viewers and all of all of you who are liking my videos and commenting and all of that. I really, really appreciate you. So I just wanted to take a moment to say that. I'm sure I don't say that enough, so. Okay, on to Poshmark orders. First up, we've got, where's it? 
Okay, another Janie and Jack, and I actually packaged this because it was at home. Um, but this is a pair of Janie and Jack girls jeans, size baby girl, six to 12 months. They have a ruffled hem, they are embroidered, embroidered, sold for $18. Like for a pair of baby jeans, I'm just blown away by this brand, Janie and Jack. And I mean, I knew it was good. When, when I found it in the bins, I had heard of it. You know, I had just never picked it up. I'd heard other people talk about it, but I, I was never really like, really on the lookout for children's clothing in the past. Um, you know, I had found Hannah Anderson and Minnie Bowden before, but not in this, I mean, I'm talking, this bin had over a hundred pieces, many new with tags, but yeah, $18 for a pair of baby jeans, like, okay, great. I, I'm not mad about that. This was listed on September 28th, sold on October 6th, so love it. This pair of jeans, by Janie and Jack is headed to Delaware, Ohio. I was like, wait a second, is that the state or is that the city? Delaware, Ohio. <laughs> what in the world? I've heard it all, guys. All right, next item is this Boys North Face black fleece jacket. It's a size small. Sold for $27. I think it sold out right. I don't think it was on offer. Picked it up at the bins. Listed on January 10th. Sold on October 6th. That sat quite a while. But hey, really good return on kids clothing, so. Face jacket is headed to St. Louis, Missouri. I love that place, by the way. I, we, we love going to Kansas City and to St. Louis. Okay, pair of shoes, which means I'm gonna need a box. Um, this is a pair of women's Donald J. Pliner kitten heel pumps. They are suede leather and they are black, size seven. Sold for $28 and um, listed quite a while. Listed on January 24th and sold on October 7th. So, yeah, I've, I've been stepping away more and more from shoes um, simply because I found that I just don't like cleaning them. I've got some still sitting in my garage of some inventory I need to list right now that I haven't listed simply because they've got to be cleaned. And I'm, I think I'm realizing, you know, you learn as you go. I'm realizing that I, I want to stick more with clothing because it's easier. And it's, I feel like a better use of my time. I can list more faster. And to me, that's really important. My time is really important. So... But hey, if you're a shoe seller and you like it and you're doing well with it, all power to you. That's great. Here's the shoes. Put thank you in there. Also, this priority mail tape I got for free from my post office. They just gave me a roll. If you ever want some, they probably would give you some too. Again, of course, you can only get it on... Priority mail, mail packaging, package boxes, um, or packages, but that's what it looks like. Pretty professional looking. All right, Donald Pliner shoes are headed to Kernersville, North Carolina. We've got a Prince shirt. Prince, I think, is a band uh, or a, a band. I think it's a singer. Let me know if I'm wrong. Like maybe like early 2000s or 90s. Prince, let me know. Anyway, I picked up this Prince uh, Purple Rain T-shirt. Uh, it's an acid wash graphic T-shirt, size women's small, sold for $15. And I picked it up at the bins, listed on January 3rd of this year and then sold on October 7th. Sat a really long time. 
I'm not a I'm not a t-shirt expert. Um, shout out to Marcus over at Dixon's Pickens. He, uh, if you watch his channel, he seems to do a lot of t-shirts and sweatshirts. That seems to be more of his area of expertise. So, um, I need to learn from him. He he seems to sell a lot of those really well. But you know, I'm I'm, I'm open to learning more about it. But yeah, this did, this only sold for fifteen dollars. But hey. All right, T this t-shirt's heading to Wellington, Florida. All right, next item is a bra. You guys know I love to sell bras because they're lightweight to pick up at the bins, easy to list, don't have to, don't have to steam them, don't have to like hang them up or anything, just lay them, take a photo, don't have to take measurements, super easy. Um, this Third Love Lace Full Coverage Bra, size 38E, new without tags, sold for $27. Picked it up for $4 at a regular Goodwill, listed on July 12th, sold on October 7th, so pretty quick. Third Love is a one of the best bra brands to resell, in addition to Wacol, Honey Love, certain larger Victoria's Secret sizes, Kashyyyk, Soma. Notori's pretty good too. Um, Levi's. Got a pair of good old classic sale that's, you know, always, it's tried and true, pretty much will always sell. Levi's 501 button fly jeans. These are a 32, men's 3230, sold for $24, listed on March 14th, sold on October 7th. So. They don't always sell crazy fast, but they always, every pair I've listed has sold, I'm pretty sure. All right, these are headed to Philly, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Next, guys, you're not even gonna believe this. This is this is a Janie, another Janie and Jack. This is a Janie and Jack flower bib. It's got this cute little Velcro thing on the back, you know, little bandana for a baby. Um, and it is like super lightweight. Um, yeah, this sold for $9 for this. I can't even believe it. Like, it's like a tissue. It's that, it's that lightweight. Um, baby one size, picked it up for, picked it up the bins, listed on September 28th. Sold on October 7th, so we're just gonna fold this up. There's the Janie and Jack label too. If you're ever wondering, that's typically what it looks like. I don't know if that's focusing. Um, it's kind of faint, so you really gotta kind of look at it, but anyway. That? Feels like nothing's even in this package. We'll have we'll have the uh, thank you card to add some weight to this. How's that? All right. This Janie and Jack bib is headed to da -da -da -da, Levant, Maine. All right. Pulling stuff down. Next item, we've got a pair of Dockers. These are men's pleated relaxed fit washed khaki shorts, size men's 42, newest tags. Sold for $22, listed on January 12th, sold on October 7th, and picked them up at the bins. This is the first time I've ever listed Dockers, so they sell. It's that kind of long, in my opinion. But 40. Size 42 is is a larger size than men's, I'm, I think. So that could be a factor. All right, these are headed to Orlando, Florida. All right, next item is Bowden. Love to sell Bowden. This is a women's Bowden wool sweater, size women's two. It's in a beautiful, I just put fuchsia magenta because I wasn't sure like which one it was. Fuchsia magenta purple, uh, sold for $30. 
Picked it up for $6 at a thrift store, listed on September 19th, sold on October 7th, so less than a month. This boat and sweater is headed to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Next we have one of my absolute favorite brands to resell. Always does really good for me, especially in larger sizes. Um, that is White House Black Market. These are new without tags. Uh, Lux suiting boot cut pants, size women's 12, and they're like a beautiful burgundy red. Sold for $30. And these were listed, uh, picked them up for $5 at a regular Goodwill, listed on September 9th, sold on October 7th. Let me know in the comments what your, let's go with top two sales of this past weekend were. What were your best sales of this weekend? I genuinely wanna know, I'm very curious. I love to, I love to learn. Uh, what uh, what's doing well for other people because um, then I I know better what to pick up you know I I don't know everything that's for sure All right. yeah I'd love to know what's selling for you guys this pair of pants is headed to Wichita Kansas next item is a tantrums Halloween shacket. Um, this is a size women's XL. It is this really cute Halloween fall autumn. I put all those keywords in there. Um, shacket, jean jacket, sold for $25. Uh, picked it up for $6 at a regular Goodwill. Listed on September 19th, sold on October 7th. So, so like a $10 profit on that. It ends up after fees. It's worth it, especially when I saw it, I was like, oh, Halloween's like a month away. Let's just go ahead and get it. It'll probably move fast. This jacket is headed to Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, next, Aerie. Um, Aerie is a tried and true brand for me. Always does really well. This is a uh, Aerie boxy crop sweatshirt. It's size women's large, it's green, it's a heavy rib knit. I put slouchy, comfy, cozy, all the keywords. Sold for $22 really quickly. Picked up at the bins, listed on September 29th, sold on October 7th. And I'm gonna speed up a little bit because my phone, my phone is losing power very quickly. I have charging issues with my devices, guys. <laughs> And there's not an outlet close enough for me to just plug that in. I drop my charger. All right, the sweatshirt's headed to Dallas Town, Pennsylvania. All right, next we have another bra. This is another third love bra. It's called the 24-7 Classic Contour Plum Bra, size 34C and a half, half sizes. Sold for $22, picked up it for $4 at a Goodwill. Listed on July 12th, sold on October 7th. And I think I just, ah, I just bent something in. Hate that when I, when I stick the label on and it crinkles, but it crinkles right on the uh, barcode. It's not good because then they can't, the machines can't scan it. Let's see if I can fix it. Nope, really don't want to have to go print another label. Oh. There we go. Got it. This bra is headed to New York, New York. Next we have a White House Black Market. It's called the Lunic, Lunic. London tunic tee in gray, size women's XL, sold for $21. Picked it up for $3.49 at a Goodwill. Listed November of last year, sold October 8th. This is out a while. I probably wouldn't pick up 
a simple piece like this again unless it was at the bins because it's just a t-shirt. It's not going to sell for nearly as much as blazers, jeans, pants, sweaters, stuff like that. All right, the shirt's headed to McLean, Virginia. Next, we have a pair of Ugg boots. This pair of boots, funny story about these, I actually shipped these to the wrong person. Another pair of Ugg boots that looks just like this, but in a smaller size sold, and I accidentally sent these. And I realized it like, it was so frustrating because I realized it like within hours after I after it shipped and I, so I immediately messaged the buyer and I was like, hey, I'm really sorry. I real, I already know I shipped the wrong boots. So <laughs> these are now going to the correct person. They sold, after I relisted them, they sold pretty quickly. These are Coolabura by Ugg Victoria Short Boot in Chestnut. These are size girls four and they sold for $45. I picked them up at the bins, listed on July 8th of last year. So that's that, that's that quite a while. I'm surprised those didn't sell. I'm surprised they didn't sell over last winter. Maybe one more. Some packing paper here. These are gonna go. That packing paper. And thank you. These are headed to Raleigh, North Carolina. All right, guys, just a few more items. I've got to drag them down here. Whee! Okay. All right. Next, I sold this women's Kalia by Carrie Underwood oatmeal tunic top. It's a hoodie sweater, size women's 2X, uh, sold for $15. And um, picked it up at the bins and listed on March 22nd. This sat a long time. So I'm glad to move that out. Sold on October 8th. It's really hit or miss for me with that brand Kalia. Um, I think style and size really, really matter within that brand. Usually is not something that I would pick up. Um, this is headed to Mazomani, Wisconsin. All right, next item. I really hope this doesn't die, guys. Uh, a pair of women's American Eagle mom jeans. They are black, size 14 regular, sold for $27. Uh, these were listed on March 14th. They sold on October 8th. Picked them up at the bin. So $27. Not surprised that they didn't sell until the fall. Some things just sit a little while. These are headed to uh, Fayette, Alabama. Next. Um, oh, this is a fantastic sell. This is a Vince by the brand Vince, sold at Nordstrom Vince. Wool cashmere hooded cardigan, size women's medium in maroon burgundy. It is chunky, it has pockets, sold for $80. Woo, amazing. Picked it up for $6 at a regular Goodwill, listed on September 19th, sold on October 8th. So that is really a fantastic sale. Since it's larger, I'm going to put it in one of these boxes. This is the medium flat rate box, so you know, and I think it's going to fit perfectly, maybe. Let some air out. <laughs> oh yeah. Lovely. Thank you. It's going to go there and together. All right, Vince, Vince Cardigan is headed to San Jose, California. All 
right guys, just a few more. This is a pair of women's Ava and Viv jeans, size women's 16W, straight leg cropped ankle, sold for $20, listed on August 27th, sold on October 8th. Picked them up at the bins, so good sale. bank as a backup guys this is headed to ah, running over packages my bag is overflowing um this is headed to columbus ohio next item we've got another pair of jeans lots of jeans are selling but this is a pair of women's chico's trouser jeans size women's 14 in chestnut rinse indigo dark wash these are new with tags uh size 14 sold for 15 Sold for $55, picked them up for $8 at a regular Goodwill, listed on August 31st, sold on October 8th. Picked these up for uh, $8 because they were new with tags, so that's always um, a helpful deciding factor for me. If it's, a good, if it's a good brand, it's a good size, and it's new with tags, I might pay up a little bit for it, and that one, uh, that one paid off. These are headed to Cedar Rapids, Iowa. All right, two more. Camera don't die on me now. Um, Adriana Goldschmidt jeans. The Ballad Slim Boot Jean Dark Wash Women's 24 Regular sold for $38. I picked these up for $8 at a regular Goodwill listed on November 24th of last year. Uh, sold for $38 on October 8th. Those sat oh, a little too long for my liking. I'm a lot more careful with AG jeans now. Adriano Goldschmied jeans because they tend to just sit a long time. I probably should not have paid $8 for those, but hey, $38 a year later. Uh, these are headed to Clear Spring, Maryland. All right, last item, guys. This came in this morning. This is a Women's Victoria's Secret gray cursive sequin spell-out crew neck sweatshirt, and it is a women's extra small. Sold for $14. Picked, up at the, picked it up at the bins. Listed on October 26th of last year. Sold October 10th of this year. So probably shouldn't have gotten that because it was an extra small, but I feel like this was a really good day of moving out old listings that had been there too long. <laughs> All right, guys. This sweatshirt's headed to Buffalo, New York. All right, thank you so, so much for watching this video today. Hope it was helpful for you. Please hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and it was helpful for you. And uh, drop me a comment down below. Let me know how the biz is going for you, uh, what your best sales were. And um, yeah, hope to be back soon with another video. Hope you all take care and have a lovely rest of your day.